Only what I like and what I use is in here. Magnetic, uh, only customized to me. So when you get matched, you get matched to three colors, your 3D foundation. So a dark color, I know that's scary, but we're going to tell you right where to put it. And it's going to blend out just like magic. So we actually accentuate the shadow. So you see a little shadow there. I kind of have a shadow there. We're just deepening those to really chisel out our own natural bone structure. And then we have a brightening highlight, the one that this is the lightest color of the 3D foundation. We're going to put that kind of mid face to light and bright the eyes. And then we have the main highlight, the one that looks most like our skin tone. We'll put where we don't have product. So one layer and then we'll just blend it out. So I'm going to use two brushes today. I'm going to use the buff and the blush and bronzer. These are the ones that I grab the most. Um, and I like having two brushes, one for placement, one for blending, but you can get this done with one. And if you want to, the 3D foundation brushes for you. Otherwise, the buff and the blush and bronzer or the detail brush and the blush and bronzer brush. Lots of bees there. So I'm going to use the buff brush and we're going to dip into our contour. Now this is going to be an ashy tone because contours emulate shadows. Okay, that's the difference between contour and bronzer. Contour is going to be a little more ashy. That's that's just how they are made to accentuate that shadow. So if you see your shadow, you can kind of just go on top of it or you can go off a of landmark's top of ear to outer corner of eye. You can feel for that cheekbone. One little trick that I used to do is put my brush on my cheekbone and then I'd roll into the hollow and that's right where <clears throat> you want to put some of this extra shadow. And I know it does not look perfect. And that's the other glorious thing about this. You don't have to be, um, you know, really into makeup at all. And you can do this. Or you can be like a genius at makeup. And it's going to just be amazing for you as well. So we first did it under our cheekbones, top of ear to outer corner of eye. And then I went temple to temple just around my hairline. And that's just emphasizing the roundness of our head. And if you have a longer forehead like me, uh, a little bit of contour up there is going to make it appear just a little shorter. Now I'm hollowing in my temples and you can kind of see it there. So don't put contour in there because that's going to make it hollow out more. So go right above that, that hollowing of your temple and just go right along your hairline. Okay. Next part of contour down the na, the nose, the nose. Uh, and you just kind of follow that eyebrow line down. And I know it's like, oh my goodness, you just, put that on your nose. Do you know what you're doing? And I don't, but Saint really makes it simple that you don't have to, and it's just going to work out. And I promise it will. So you just kind of follow that uh, eyebrow line down. Okay. And then I kind of cut it off right at the tip. Otherwise it makes it look longer, but as you see, it narrows my nose and I'm going to blend in the end. Okay. So done with the nose. I put a little under my lip for some added pucker. If you have some nice juicy lips. You can always just skip that step, but you see it just kind of, uh, I don't know, makes your chin appear further back and a little bit more of a puckered lip. And the last part of contour, the finale of the contour, is just along that lower jawline. And I kind of went up on my face there, which you want to try not to do. But again, you can make mistakes with cream and it's just very forgiving, very, very forgiving. So just deepening that shadow on our jawbone to chisel out our face, face shape. Okay, oh, and I brush this back right away. Otherwise, I will uh, space it off and then look in my rear view mirror and be like, whoa, forgot to blend that. So we're done with contour. Going into the brightening highlight, the lightest color of the 3D foundation, still using the uh, buff brush, the small end. You can get by using the brushes you have at home, but... These brushes were made for cream, so they pick it up and deposit it on your skin super nicely. Uh, so if you have some pretty high quality brushes at home, give them a shot. But if you are worried about that at all, you definitely need to get a, need to get a Saint brush uh, because they were made for this. So we're brightening now. In between the brows, you just kind of plop a little color. And then I go down the center of my nose to continue to narrow it. And then um, I'm probably going to go on the tip of, it's fine, it'll blend, tip of my nose here just a little bit. And then I hit my cupid's bow, which is right there, because we're brightening that triangle of light, which is actually 
eyebrows to chin. Uh, we want to light and bright, light that area up for some attention to those eyes. Everybody has beautiful eyes. So we went in between the eyes, down the nose, Cupid's bow chin. We're going to get the inner corner of the eye. And this is where I have texture. So alert, 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 alert. Less is more, especially in a trouble area. Just remember that. You don't, the less you can use, the better. And the reason Saint helps us with this is it's heavily pigmented cream with no water. So you don't need much to get a little light, bright coverage. Okay. So we went on the inner corner. We're going to go on that outer corner and kind of drag up because this is also going to lift our eye. If you can already see what's going on here and we'll just slightly blend it out and it will lift our little eyeball just up, up, up. Okay. Same over here. I think the mower just started out there and my neighbor, so I apologize. So inner corner of eye, is it that time already? I'm really, I don't want to do that. <sighs> okay, inner corner of eye and then outer corner of eye, we're just going to lift up, up, up for a little eye lift. Okay, done with contour and brightening highlight onto the main highlight. Okay, I switched to my blush and bronzer brush. Remember, you can do it all with the 3D brush. Um, but I like the buff and the blush and bronzer or the detail and the brush and blush and bronzer. Okay. So bopping into my main highlight color. Oops. I got some lip cheek on there, but I'll just wipe that off. Uh, this goes where I don't have product. So just on that lower half of the face, I got a little lip cheek. Let's hope it doesn't, it's fine. So I just dabbed in. Remember a dab will do you just a dab because if you dig and get a ton, you're not going to like this. It's heavily pigmented, helping us to not need much at all. Nothing like liquid foundation. So I'm just tapping this kind of where I don't have product and we're ready to blend. You could put some main highlight up here if you'd like. You don't have to cover every single part of your face because it is going to blend out in the end, which is what I'm doing now. So it's best to stipple, like press this makeup into your face. And it's best for your skin health, but also you're not swiping product away from the area that you need a little help, okay? So stippling is pressing in. So try to get in the habit of doing that. Uh, I will, I kind of do it all, you know, swipe a little bit of what you shouldn't and a little bit of what you should do. But I do recommend blending light to dark if you don't know what to do. But uh, if you go dark to light, it's going to work because this makeup was made to be worn together. It's cohesive makeup, so you really can't mess it up. Okay, I think I blended the light pretty good. Now I'm going to kind of do small circles, push back this contour into my hairline. And then I'm going to buff out these nose lines, just run my brush over them a few times. Okay, we still have the narrowing. And then I'm going to flick up. You always want to flick up and back with your cheekbone contour because we want to lift the face. If you do big circles, it's going to drag that down. We are all about lifting. So we're just going to flick this contour up and back. I love to travel with this makeup because you don't have to take it out of your carry-on. It's just put it in there. Good to go. Okay, so this is 3D foundation. Coverage, light and bright, dimension that typical traditional makeup doesn't provide. And it's faster and it's one layer. Okay, so I'm going to pick a lip cheek. I've been on this kick of Dahlia, which I love a pink, especially, you know, this time of year. But I am going to go a little bit of a rusty earth tone, but she's bold. So this is sandstone. She might be. She's definitely a top five for me. And I'm our lip cheeks double as lip cheeks, and they're actually the size of the large tin. Okay, this was just a holiday edition. They made them smaller, but they're large like the other tins. Sorry, I can't really talk and do my lips. So that's sandstone. 
Good. A nice little earth tone, rusty orange yumminess. And I'm kind of a cool neutral gal. I was going to say it looks really good on warm tones, but I'd say it pretty much looks pretty good on anybody. So there's sandstone on my lips and cheeks. Whew. She's a great color and anybody can wear her. That's kind of the nice thing about all of our lip cheeks. A lot of skin tones can pull them all off. We do have some um, subtle tones if you want. You can always um, reach out and ask me too which ones would work for you and what kind, kind of look you're trying to achieve. So that's sandstone on the lips and the cheeks. Okay, so everything we just did, the 3D foundation, bada boom, right here, sorry, and a lip cheek, which comes in a large tin, a brush and a compact is 111. Great place to start. I'm gonna add some bronzer because I wear her all year round and I like a little warmth. So that's why I always recommend getting a little brush and bronzer brush, blush and bronzer brush. So you kind of do like a C, you wanna do the top of your forehead, top of cheeks, tip of nose, and then I always drag it down my neck to kind of warm up my neck so I don't look like a floating head, but a little bit of Bella bronzer. We have four to choose from, but Bella is pretty universal. If you're super duper fair, I would go with tan lines, and if you have a nice, deep, rich, gorgeous skin tone, I would go with heat waves. So that's it. I mean, it's seriously that simple. Um, once you get the hang of it, you could you can do this anywhere, any car, airplane, uh, waiting in the car, on the way out the door. Like it's simple, quick, clean beauty for you um, and kind of, you know, catered to the mature woman. Our eyeshadows are $14. They're amazing too. I love slapping a few colors in my palette um, that I just wear daily. It's super nice to have it all. Everything I put on my face is in here. Oh, and if you're a powder girl, which I am, I always, or starting with cream for the first time, grab a perfector sponge. They, you always use these damp. Roll it over your finished product because it's gonna pick up any makeup that hasn't blended nicely into your skin. Like if you use too much, this is your best friend. I also like to use it for a little uh, vanilla dust setting powder. This is a finely milled translucent powder, so it works for everybody. I just dig with the little tip of my, um, perfecter and kind of press it right on my under eyes. I also like to go like where my face moves because that's where I need some setting and some stay power. So around my mouth, my nose and my eyes, I'm a very expressive person. So a little setting dust goes a long way in those areas. Okay. This is Saint. Let me know if I can help you. I love this stuff. It was game changing. I gave up on makeup. I found this and I fell in love with this clean, easy product for women. Um, so reach out to me. I am here for you.